Once a scientific research team has made a new discovery, the next step is to share it with the world so that others can learn and benefit from the advances in science. Traditionally, scientists publish their findings in a peer-reviewed journal. Peer review is critical to check whether the experiments were done correctly and the proper data collection and analysis tools were used. However, this process can take many months or even years, preventing scientists from quickly disseminating knowledge and slowing down the rate of scientific progress. It's no surprise then that more and more scientists today are opting to submit their work as a preprint. Scientists usually upload their manuscript directly to a public server around the same time they would submit to a journal. The preprint server completes a quick screen for scientific content and then posts the manuscript publicly, making it accessible to anyone around the world within just a few days. Preprints allow scientists to immediately stake their claim to a new discovery and quickly get feedback from the scientific community on their work. Unlike peer-reviewed publications, many preprint servers also allow scientists to upload updated versions of the manuscript that contain new experiments and conclusions based on additional work or community feedback. But since preprint servers do not perform the peer review process on the manuscripts they post, it is critical to clearly state the manuscript status as not peer reviewed when sharing or writing about a preprint. Although most preprints are clearly labeled as such, you can always look up the website of the server it is posted on if you are unsure. Simply visit the website's About page for further information on the server's policies. It is also important to make sure you reference the host server and include a link to the most recent version of the manuscript when sharing information from a preprint. In many cases, the most recent version of the manuscript is preferentially displayed on the server. However, preprint servers usually retain the original submission along with all subsequent updated versions. This prevents cited manuscripts from suddenly becoming unavailable if a new version is posted and allows readers to track updates. Look for flags such as withdrawn, which might appear if the authors no longer stand by the work. And finally, check the comment section or do a web search for the title of the preprint to find reviews or commentaries on the paper from researchers that might help you put it into context. As a journalist citing a preprint for a media story or news outlet, it is good practice to make sure your audience has a brief explanation about what preprints are and how they differ from peer-reviewed publications. Make sure to mention that the data and conclusions have not yet been thoroughly vetted by the scientific community, and that the information in the manuscript may be subject to change. Unlike peer-reviewed papers, you should not refer to preprints as published, but as posted work instead. It is also a good idea to reach out to well-established independent experts in the field and get their comments on the work you are citing. Preprints are helping to accelerate the dissemination of scientific discoveries, but we must make sure that scientific accuracy is not lost along the way. Transparent communication is key to holding the scientific community accountable, while also building and maintaining the public's trust in science and research.